Hello there, this is Stephen Ball and this is the second part really of the two-part series on looking at master detail relationships with um, objects and how we can bind to those using visual life bindings. Now the first session we really just looked at a simple object with a detail object. So we had a foo object that had a foo to object and we had a list of foo objects and as we scrolled through the list of foo objects we were able to update the foo to object details on the screen using the master detail element. Um, now with master detail you're quite often going to be using uh, a list or you're going to be using you might have multiple objects that are sub objects so I've actually kind of taken the work that we did in the first video and moved this on so if you if you haven't seen the first video not to worry um, but uh, if you have, then it's some great background for this one. So let's get into the code. Now, I'm going to actually just run this, and then we'll come back and actually have a look at the code underneath. So for those of you who were with us before, uh, we had the foo and the foo2 object. And this is a list of foo objects here. And we can see we've got the name value of Bob, Frank, and George. These are three foo objects. Um, but as we select and move through, we can see the value is updating on the right hand side here. Um, but also we've got a, a foo2 object, and the foo2 has a foo2 value. So um, here's George's foo2 value and Frank's foo2 value. And we also have a fee object, which is basically so very similar to the foo object, but it's just a different type of object with a different property on it. Um, so there we are, we've got the, the secondary object working there. Um, and what we've also done now is we've added a FUD list. Now a FUD list is basically a, a list, an object list um, of type tfud. And tfud has got a name, a value, and a FUD foo, which is also a foo to value. Um, so it's, that's got a detail object on the detail detail. Uh, and we can see here as we move down here, we're able to navigate through the FUD objects as well. And if we move to Frank, we can see we now get Frank's FUD objects. Uh, and we can go ahead and change the values here and navigate back and forward. And they're updating as well. So all the way through, we've got our master detail, detail relationship working. So obviously we've got the classes here. And there's nothing particularly complicated in this unit. They're just literally creating the, the subclasses that exist on the foo object. Um, so let's go and have a look at the unit and have a look at the code that we're using to link all of these together. Now we could use visual life bindings and draw a link between uh, our foo2, the name and the value, between the list and the, the edit here. And we could also use the foo2 to link to the uh, foo2 value and the fee value which is the property on the come back here we can see this is the fee value so this just matches up the names to the properties um, and again the FUD uh, here we've just got a name value pair and a FUD value um, sorry a FUD foo value which is a foo2 value which is the property of the foo2 object so very very simple in terms of working with a specific object at a time now as this one navigates we're able to use the on before and on after uh, navigation events to then update the additional prototype bind sources with the current list um, that's being used. Now to do that could be quite a bit of code. So we've actually created in here um, a sync master list. And the master list then has a detailed array of the properties that we're going to work off. And then the detail array can then have you know, each detail can have details in it. So let's go ahead and have a look at the code underneath here. So in the form create, we are just going ahead and uh, here we're actually manually building the, the live bindings. Uh, so we've got the, the name and the value and this is working off the foo objects prototype bind source. Uh, one's linking to the list and the other one's linking to the edit control, so that just keeps those in, in sync. And the 
Fu2 object, which is a property of the Fu object, has a Fu2 value, which we're linking to the second edit control. Um, the Fi is working off the Fi, uh, the Fu Fi object, prototype line source, just as we've just seen on the screen. Uh, and then the FUD1, we're just picking to the name, the value, and then the Fu2 value of the FUD property, uh, the, the FUD properties here. Uh, and telling it which prototype bind source that's working off. So to keep those prototype bind sources working with the specific objects, all we've done is go ahead and, in fact, we'll come back to those in a second. Uh, as, as the form's created, we've actually overwritten the form create, um, created the three objects, you know, for Bob, Frank, and George, added them to a foo list, uh, and then what we've done is we then created the, 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 the links to the details on those foo objects. So we're basically saying here, okay, we have a foo object, which is our master, and that has a foo2 property. And we're going to create an object link here. And we're basically using the generics here. It then defines the, the function header for us. So we have to put foo and foo2. Uh, and the current master object is passed through and all we then do is just return back the foo2 property of the current foo object. Um, for the detail array for the second element here we're picking up the fi property of the foo and then doing the same thing just returning the fi uh, object and for the third one uh, the third one is the actual FUD list so what we're doing here is instead of using an object link, we're using a list link. And that says this list contains foo. Uh, the, the, list, uh, the master is a foo. The list is a list of tfud. And that returns a fud list. So you need to use generics to define uh, an array, basically. Um, and then all we're going to do is do the same code basically take the current foo and then we're just going to get the current fud list and return the fud list now that's going to give us the list but we then want to do the detail of the list so we're then passing in some sub detail and the sub detail has just been defined here as an object link um, and this is going to take the current fud and return the foo2 and the current master is a fud foo2 is what's going to be returned um, so then we're able just to call the, the FUD object and get the foo FUD, which is the property name for the, um, the detail here. Okay, so this is using uh, anonymous methods uh, and generics to be able to provide back master detail detail relationships. Um, so I said, let's just go and run that again. Now we've been talking through it. Uh, what we can see here is our foo objects linking uh, with our fee, uh, our, our foo2 and our fee, and then our fud objects with the values and the foo fud um, properties as well. Now the, the code for this is going to be up on Code Central, um, the link's at the bottom of the screen, um, so do go ahead and uh, just go to Code Central and type in the, the link number, and you can then take away this uh, uh, detail helper unit, uh, which has then got the, the master, which is the, the main sync. Oh, the one thing that I haven't shown you then again was just back on the main form. Uh, obviously on all the prototype bind sources, you're then able to just match up the, the detail array that you created, the item in the detail array, uh, and that has a detail bind source that's automatically created. And if you just match that into the, the bind source adapter that's requested, um, by that prototype bind source, you'll then uh, be connected straight up um, without having to do any of the before scroll, after scroll event work uh, and keeping all the different lists in sync. Uh, when you're using the detail detail, then here you just say um, uh, the second uh, item or the third item in our detail array was the, the FUD list. Um, the FUD list detail then has a foo uh, and then get the detail bind source to map into that. Um, so those automatically get created um, when you go and create these link list items. Um, and as you put them to the details array, you're then able to use the sync 
details array to get the, the bind sources that are created through the creation of these objects. And that's how all the magic kind of works together then. Okay, hope that helps and uh, look forward to um, some comments back on my blog uh, about how you're getting on with that and using it. Uh, if you look to expand it any further, then um, please make sure you send that back over and we can um, get that shared out to everybody as well. Okay, bye.